Hello guys, this is Jerry, and today I got sent a really great story by New York City Korean MGTOW. So of course that's just his name that he uses, I don't know who he really is, and even if I did I wouldn't tell you guys, he asked me not to show his real name. So anyways, let us listen and learn from his story. So this is how he starts. I have one story I wanted to share as a Korean American who once lived in South Korea. I was an English teacher there and somewhat new to the country at the time. I met this girl who later turned out to be a gold digger, as you probably noticed, with so many Asian girls, especially Korean. So I was with this girl for almost a year, and this was obviously during my blue pill one-itis days when I just couldn't let her out of my sight. She was the type to always call me whenever she needed something, and would never pay nor contribute anything to the relationship. As a native English teacher, we are provided housing, and when she heard about that, she decides to move in and literally transforms my studio apartment into a Hello Kitty dream house with Sanrio products enveloping the whole interior. My bathroom ends up looking like a scene from that Japanese horror movie, The Grudge, with traces of her hair sticking out of all the plumbing, ugh, and files of Korean dramas over exceeding the capacity of my one terabyte external. So um, I'm gonna step away from the story at the time. So you actually let her use your computer. If if you're um, if you see this, please clarify this. Did she use your computer? Because it sounds like when you say files exceeding your one terabyte external, so either let her use your external hard drive or you let her use your computer. Anyways, going back to his story. I turned a blind eye to her devious ways up until I finally met her parents. She introduces me to them as just a friend. Oh man. That was when my heart just sank. Her parents even knew how well I was treating her and thought to myself that I already won their affection and approval. However, they even forbade her to ever get into a relationship with me at all because I had a job that wasn't considered stable. Man, fucking Asian parents. That's me, by the way. That's not, that's not him writing the story. As the anger kept building up, knowing she was taking me for granted, I worked up enough courage to sit her down and tell her that she is nothing but a gold digging whore, and this was in public too, where I intentionally wanted to embarrass her. I even dropped the biggest bomb on her, revealing that I landed a new high-paying government job with huge benefits. After calling her out, her emotions made a quick 360 and she started paying for all the dates and made up for what I have wasted. However, I knew I was too smart for this and I told her I never wanted to see her. Kicked her out the door, learned my lesson, and moved on. So, um, a question I would ask New York City Korean MGTOW is this, what did you do with all their stuff? All that shit that she brought into your house. That's something I wanted to ask. Anyways, back to the story. I apologize for this long rant. However, the main reason why I wanted to share this is not just to avoid gold diggers, but because I wanted to delve into the whole aspects of Asian parenting when it comes to their children dating. For guys, no matter how much of a gentleman you are, you'll never receive the parents' approval or blessings unless you are in a job with a stable income. Now she is some hotshot manager of one of the big conglomerates. And from what I hear, um, she isn't... Um, oh, wait, sorry. I, I read that wrong. Now she is with... So she's dating. So she is with some hotshot manager of one of the big conglomerates. And from what I hear... He is an alcoholic, abuses her, is unfaithful, yet her parents will never allow a divorce. Oh, shit. Hope you enjoyed my story. Damn, man. Well, when she's, um, when, when she probably sometimes at night is like, oh, I miss him. But anyways, Korean MGTOW, thanks for sharing your story. Um, the one thing I would say in my first reaction to your story is that um why'd you let her move in i get it it was your blue pill days but like i just maybe it's just because i was always growing up as an only child right so like i wouldn't let someone just move in like that even in my blue pill days but 
that's, you know, I'm not judging. I'm just asking. I'm just genuinely curious what your thought was. And there's probably more to this story that you haven't really told us, but still very interesting, though. And I'm glad you um <laughs> rub it in their face. It's like a parting shot. By the way, I got a really good job, but you're not going to be part of my life afterwards. It's pretty funny. I mean, I look at how I am now, you know, I'm very comfortable and I, you know, I'm growing as a person and all of those people that, all those sort of women that in the past um, didn't care, I'm sure if they ever saw it, they would be like, oh my God, they'll take a second look at me, but I'll be like, fuck, I'm not taking a second look at you. So I totally get where you're coming from. And um, fellow Asian MGTOW sharing their story, that's awesome, man. And um, I think the... The last thing I want to say is I definitely met that type of Asian parent where like um, when you meet them, they're actually kind of cool. But the moment you leave, they'll start talking shit about you to her. Just just constant shit. Oh, this guy, ooh, he's too much of an artist. Or this guy, what the fuck is he doing with life? Or what the fuck is wrong with him? Don't you dare become like him. Like stuff like that. And, um, and eventually she's going to settle with someone that's just as bad that's the really sad part <laughs> so uh, anyways to everyone else watching thank you guys so much for um just all your support and everything man all right talk to you guys next time bye bye